What's up, Leo? My name's Lisa. So if you see this, it's um, it's meant for you whenever you see this. There is no um, time. I do. I will be doing monthly readings again for the Zodiac signs, but whenever you see this, that's when you're meant to see this. Okay, so this is for Leo, and if you have Leo in your chart, you can watch this. All right. Um, just if you're drawn to it, then it's for you. All right. So here we go. King of Cups. So King of Cups is a master of his emotions. That's the first thing that I heard. Okay. Uh, but I kind of feel like this King of Cups doesn't really know what to do with their emotions. They're definitely masking their emotions, which is something else about the King of Cups. Oh, yeah, it's coming with the Seven of Wands. So they're, so you could be showing up as the, like really in your feels here, Leo, and um, just not really sh like unsure as to what to do with the way that you feel about someone or something or whatever it is, okay? Ooh, maybe an empress. <laughs> For some of you, it's your mother. Okay. You're having like issues with your mother. Okay. But for others of you, this is like, um, a divine feminine that you're focused on. Okay. Watching this woman. Yeah. Queen of wands. You're extremely attracted to her, or this is someone watching you because queen of wands can also represent you, Leo, right? It's a fire sign. Okay, one more. Moonchild. Yeah, so I really feel like this is wrapped up in emotions. Okay, some of you may also be, um, I'm hearing undergoing like major psychic development. Okay, like you're, you could be looking into it feels more like hidden emotions. Okay. And you could have, you could be experiencing, it's like through every moon phase, like, like the phases of the moon. Um, it's like through every full moon, it's like, they're showing me like the cycles of the moon, like it's new moon to full moon. And then the full moon to the new moon. And every time there's another full moon, it's like, it's taking you deeper and deeper into your emotion. Okay. Or someone, whoever's watching this empress. Okay. This empress could be you, or you could be watching someone. Okay. Because even as I was shuffling the cards before I turned, like started recording for you guys, the page of swords came out, which is, yeah, they just said like stalker, like somebody's lingering. Yes. Knight of Pentacles. So that's very slow moving energy here. All right. There, they just show me a deck to, where is it? Here it is. Tell me to get some clarifiers here. So I'm going to do that. Jesus. Yeah. Nine, the nine of wands. See, I don't, whoever this king of cups is, this person is like very, exhausted and look at look at him even even the way that this person it okay distraught that's the word they just gave me confused okay this person is like still willing to fight here but it's like this person yeah see fighting there's like conflict going on it doesn't really feel like that great here okay So some, for some of you, this is like you're fighting with your mother, okay? And then I just heard you're fighting with, it, they said they're fighting with themselves. All right, so tell me more about this King of Cups. Yes, he wants to come charging in like, and say something. It's like, because the Knight of Swords comes charging in and like, he'll, he'll speak the truth. Okay. But it could like come out the side of his face. You know what I'm saying? Like the truth isn't always like tactfully said. 
I feel like this King of Cups is like, I don't know, feels a little defeated. All right. It's it just very, yeah. See something happened here. I, I don't know what happened here exactly here with this King of Cups. Um, I'm hearing this King of Cups got a taste of their own medicine. Okay. And all right. Tell me about this Empress. What happened to this Empress or what's Okay, so it showed it. Look, the Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So, this I, I don't read reversals, but the fact that it came out in reverse, I do like say that. So, in reverse, this is like letting go. Okay, so it's like it's like but it's still up. So it's like, somebody's not, somebody's like being very greedy, very, uh, th like whoever this empress is, I don't feel like this empress is in the greatest of energies, whoever this empress is. Okay. I feel like this empress might even be kind of like not treating this king of cups that great. Okay. I mean, here's like this I mean, <laughs> this guy's dead, all right? This guy, like, saw it coming, okay? But, like, still, it's like this person was, like, a glutton for punishment, okay? It it, it almost feels like revenge. It's almost like whoever is, is this e empress, which could be somebody's mother or maybe the mother of this King of Cups children, it's like, it's like they're, ugh, like, getting revenge or something. I don't. And I don't feel like this King of Cups is talking about it with any with anybody, all right? He just is, like, very much on guard. Uh, he's, like, in attack mode because he doesn't know who to trust. Oh, my God. All right, what's, what's going on here? How can we help this King of Cups? I heard lighten up. Okay, but there's something here with the threes because the Empress has three ladies on it, okay? This person could have three baby mamas, okay? But also, there's, like, three ladies here, okay? So this could definitely be, like, some sort of third-party situation, right? Yeah, see, speaking of which, and there's, there's the Knight of, so Knight of Wands. All right, what's this moon child? I'm... Yeah, see... I feel like this King of Cups, it's been part of this spiritual awakening, which could be happening to you, Leo, okay? But it just, it's like, sometimes when um, going through spiritual awakenings, like, at least in, in, my, in my experience, it's like, I had a series of catastrophes, practic pretty much, happen in my life, which like, made me wake up. Okay. It's like made me look at myself differently in my behavior, you know, up until these things started to happen. Like I, I didn't really realize how everything stemmed from the way that I actually felt about myself. Okay. And I feel like this is why this King of Cups, like this, this King of Cups is getting some sort of wake up call. Okay. And even though he wants to lash out and like blame other people, I feel like, like whoever this King of Cups is, whether this is you or just somebody around you, it's like, I feel, yeah, they said that this King of Cups is getting a taste of their own medicine. So it's like, it's, it's bringing in their spiritual awakening. It's like, um, he, whoever this King of Cups is, male or female, it's like this person understands that they put themselves exactly where they are. And as much as they want to lash out and blame others, they understand now that it's like due to their own circumstances, their own behaviors, whatever. Okay. Yeah. See, and now they're, now they're going within. Okay. They're becoming wiser. I don't feel like this King of Cups is saying much of anything yet. Okay. They're going through a process of healing and awakening. Okay. The divine like has really did a number on this person because I know the divine has had to step in on me and freaking 
I mean, sometimes I ask for it, you know, because I'm just like going through this cycle and I can't see what my lesson is. And so I'll ask them to smack me in the face with it. And, you know, they fucking do. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm not laughing at you, but like the divine doesn't, it's like when, when it's your time to understand and learn or, or to grow, it's like, it's your time to understand, learn and grow. All right, is there anything else here? Yeah, see, it's bringing in this new opportunity. So whether you see that or not, whoever is being represented here as this King of Cups, this is definitely what's what's coming. Yeah, see, an opportunity to learn how to work with others, you know, create with others. You're creating with the divine now, okay? Um, I even feel like there's people that may even be watching because remember again with that like that watching energy i felt it they people have been watching you um create whatever you could have even been creating and kind of keeping it to yourself okay but it's almost like whatever this transformation has been that you've been going through leo it's like um it's like you put it on paper you 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 or you started painting it or it's like you used the pain the feeling because you weren't verbally expressing it, it's like started to come out in, um, in design I'm hearing. Uh, so however it is that you create, okay, this could be something that's happening right now, or it's like just been this process. All right. But it's really getting you recognized. Okay. It's been, um, very healing for you as well. Yeah. See again with this healing, see, because something has really put you through the ringer here. It's, but yeah, look at this. Okay. You're, you're, I, oh my God. And then this, but see, here's this, you're, you're moving through this energy here. All right. You will be victorious over this energy. I do feel like there could be like another seven to 10 weeks of, you know, just healing and just like this kind of like loner vibe, you know, which is a little bit different for Leo's because you guys are very outspoken, right? But something, it's like, I feel like Leo, you may have been humbled here by whatever happened. Okay. All right. Give me one card for Leo. Yeah. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. Because it's a lot to swallow, right? The truth hurts, right? The truth does fucking hurt. But, you know, it's like the divine only shows you the truth so that you can move through it and grow. It's like, just take that experience. It's like you got to the other side of it. Why? Because you're going to help other people get to the other side of it. So see the beauty in, um, I'm hearing you're, you're calling it a failure or your defeats. Okay. But it's, 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 it's really a rebuilding. It's really what's building you. It's really what's taking you to this king status, to the emperor. It's like moving you forward. It's like this, um, because this also represents the spiritual awakening. Okay. See, because this guy, like he's leaving the material for the spiritual. Okay. So it's like, I feel like your value system is changing here, Leo. Yeah. Where are you being called to journey to? Exactly. And it's like, you can't fight it anymore. After everything you've seen, after everything you've been through, it's like, yeah, you can't handle the truth. That's what I'm hearing. But it's like, you're learning to accept it now. It's like, you could have been bucking the system before, but now it's like, yeah, call back your power, cut cords and soul retrieval. This is what you're doing. You're separating yourself from because I do feel like I, this must be you, Leo, or somebody around you. This person has been through the fucking ringer and they're really severing ties. All right. It's been low blows. Yeah. Seeing the light, laying foundations, divine plan, and a grandmother of Jesus. Exactly. It's like you're starting over here. Reboot. Yeah. A reboot of system. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah, so 
you're resting, you know, but in the resting, that doesn't mean like you, you don't have to like necessarily do anything. Like you can blast the music and dance, you know, I do that all the time by myself. It like really helps. So there you go, Leo. It's like a big period of growth here over the next couple of months, you know, for whoever I'm connecting to. And, um, which, you know, although it may not be that comfortable, it's, it's always worth it. So anyway, I love you, Leo. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.